Hello my friends, in this video we are supposed to make a small project 4D. Well of course in Navisworks comprehensive course I've made the real projects 4D that you can provide it by the link below. Well for the step one you should open your uh, MSP file and check that all tasks are defined correctly. And as you can see we categorized all the objects into different classes. For example, doors level 1, doors level 2, or facade level 1, facade level 2, as you can see, and ceiling level 1, level 2, and as you can see, their start and finish time is obvious. Hence, we have a construction here, aka WBS, and now in order to make it 4D, we should add it two columns. Well, for the first column, in each of these tasks, you must assign an ID. Actually, you should give it a code. And we have an equivalent like this in Revit. And I right click here and add a column right there. Let me show you. Alright, like that. Good. Well, in order to have an exclusive column, you may use text one here. Yes. And uh, let's rename this column to for the ID, good. And now it's time to assign an ID for each of these tasks. Well, it's up to you, it's your choice. For example, for uh, doors level one, I'm gonna say door dash L1. And for the next level, I'm gonna say L2, all right. So for each one of them, you should assign a code. And for instance, for selling level one, I say sell dash L1. All right. And etc. Hence for all of these from lean concrete or metal columns, structure framing and structure floor, and even a structure wall and etc. You should consider code for each one of them. This is the first step or the first level that you should add it in MSB. Well, you should add another column here. Well, you should specify each row that there is in MSB that which one of them is operational. I'm going to explain it to you now. All right, let me add another column here. For example, takes two. And I'm going to choose a name for it like text type all right well some of these rows here are not operational like this one equipping the workshop or this one temporary delivery of the project these are not operational but some of them are operational like structural wall level one well these have an executive mood well you should write a word in front of each one of them that is operational Okay, you should write construct, as I told you before, in front of each one of them that is operational. Like this one, construct. All right, there you go. All right, let's review it again. We just added a column here that we wrote codes in it. Okay, here, and another column here, which we should write construct in front of each one of them that is operational. Well, if you do this, you will reach to the file that I'm supposed to show it to you now. Here we go. That's it. As you can see, I added task type and the IDs as well. Okay, that was it for MSP and let's get to Revit. Well, first of all, you should define a parameter for each one of these objects that you have here that is special for 40. And as you can see, you have blank item like comment and mark. Well, we are supposed to make an exclusive parameter for 4D for each one of these objects. All right, in order to do that, you should go to this part, Manage and Project Parameters. And after that, you should make a new one. In this part, you should select all of them as you want it for all the objects. And after you select Instance, name it 4D ID. The same name that we have chosen it in MSP. And in this part, you should select text in data type as we are supposed to write a code. All right, never mind the rest of them. Okay. 
Well, now I'm able to select this wall and then give it a 40 ID. Which code should I give it now? The code that I have defined it here. For example, for doors level 1, I defined door dash L1. So here I should for uh, door level 1, for its 40 ID, I should select door dash L1. But it takes so much time to be done. But in a shorter way, in order to assign all the IDs to all of your objects, you should provide a schedule. That means you should go to this part, the schedules, here, categories, multi-category, and then you should add here this 40 ID, as you can see. And it's better to add this category as well, so that you may know what type of category it is, and then add its level, since each code for each level is separate. Well, family and type is not so useful here. Since all codes of doors level 1 are for L1. Alright, I'm gonna make it down. That's it. And set it on category. And level here, blank line. Good. Alright, that's it. In order to make it uh, less crowded, let me deselect this itemize. As you can see, it made the doors level 1 separate. And as I told you before, we wrote a code which is door dash L1. And for the next one, I wrote door dash L2. And for selling, I wrote sell dash L1. So you should assign all of these to all the objects by this schedule. Alright, I'm gonna show you the prepared file. As you can see, I did assign all of these to all the objects by this schedule. Okay, we finished in Revit as well. So we did add two columns in MSP. We gave it code and after that we get to Revit. And then we define a common parameter which is for the ID. And by the schedule, we did assign all the codes to all the objects. Well, in order to transfer this file to Navisworks, you could export it in NWC format, or you could do it directly from here. You can open your Revit file here. But before this, I did export the file from that in NWC format, as you can see. Let me open it. Hence, when you prepare your Revit file here, you could transfer it to Navisworks directly, or you could export it in NWC format. And after that, you could transfer it into Navisworks. And as you can see, as I click on it, it shows all the IDs. All right, we've done everything. So what are we going to do in Navisworks now? All right, in Timeliner, you should click on Data Sources and then add Microsoft Project. And then you should open the file that has been prepared. Well, as you can see, it asks us that which column of MSP is equivalent to the Navisworks one. So for task type, uh, we chose text two. It considers only the original name, not the name that you choose for yourself. All right, for plan start, it is start, plan end, uh, which is here finish let me find it that's it and for one of them we should bring the codes for example in user one we should select uh, okay which one of these that's it text one we chose text one as you can remember all right okay and as you can see nothing happens uh, we should right click here and then rebuild See, and your timeliner has come to Navisworks, as you can see. And you just need to give your codes to all the objects. In order to do that, you should go to this part here, here, and let me remove it since I did it before. Right click on new, and 
we wanted to make equivalent uh, the column let me select it user one all the codes and then give to all the ids of the objects element here and for this part it was for the id and this makes the objects to be assigned to this timeliner automatically after i select it i apply it and when i remove this one and as you can see all the objects are being assigned and now we are playing it in fact there are a lot of tips and points in it in navis works in bigger projects in executive projects that we have explained it a lot and if you would like to provide this course you could click on the link below you will not regret it have a good time